Hello, LA Soccer Nation. It's Cameron Millage alongside the manager of Los Angeles Football Club, Bob Bradley. Bob, how are you doing today? I'm good. How about you? Doing pretty good. Congrats on a successful expansion draft as well as signing Carlos Vela as your first designated player. But we're going to talk about some business that happened before the 2017 season. So a couple of years ago, the MLS Reserve League merged with the USL to create a pipeline for players and teams to get MLS contracts. So this year, this year you st there's an affiliate agreement with Orange County. So how would you use Orange County as a pipeline for players, especially young talent, to get an access to the MLS as well as in getting contracts? It's a proving ground. So obviously what we want more than anything is to have a, a very good relationship, uh, make sure that the, the football that gets played uh, week in and week out with Orange County, the training fits with, the work that we do uh, and that players use that uh, opportunity to grow and show that they're ready to uh, compete for jobs in the first team. So, uh, you know, more than anything else, you want to make sure that players have opportunities. If a player is uh, able at a young age to move to LAFC, it's great. But if he needs then a little bit of time uh, and uh, you want to keep track of him and you want to make sure that he's getting uh, uh, the right kind of experience and your affiliate becomes an uh, important part of the process. The big news at the beginning of the season was the signing of Carlos Vela, but Carlos Alvarez, Monday at team, and Rodrigo Pacheco were all signed in the meantime. Have you gotten assessments from Coach Logan Paz and the staff about their progress and how would you, how would you be able to integrate them next season? Uh, I've gotten uh, feedback from Logan in terms of uh, how they played. Uh, I've had a chance to um, go on video, watch many of the games. John Thorrington uh, has been uh, able to get to some games live. So, uh, look, we understand the progress they made, and then it gets put to the test when, uh, when you begin. So, you know, the best part about football is, is that when you begin training, uh, you see for yourself uh, where players fit in. And, and for me, I've learned over the years that you don't uh, forecast. You, you look for guys that have talent, you get them into the, the right situations, you challenge them, and then you make the decisions about which guys you think are uh, ready to move forward. And in terms of player development and the program in place over there, Orange County signed Franz Hoke, who was the assistant to Louis Van Hal at Ajax, Barcelona, and Manchester United. To have that European pedigree and a program that was go that's going to be in place to help players, how is, th how is that beneficial to Orange County in getting a proper training regimen or a different way of how, it's game how the game is played? Yeah, Franz Hoke is an uh, experienced coach. Obviously, uh, a lot of his early work was mainly with goalkeepers. I uh, met him years ago in Barcelona, um, but he is a football coach uh, uh, in terms of covering the whole game, his ideas uh, in terms of uh, what training needs to look like. Uh, he's also worked closely with Raymond Verheyen, so uh, anytime you can bring experienced guys who, who can play a positive role in, in shaping the, the training environment, then it's a good thing for everybody.